There are seven elements of art, line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. Color is the element of art produced by light reflecting off of objects. Artists like you use a color wheel to show how colors relate to one another. There are three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors. Orange is made by combining red and yellow. Green is made by combining yellow and blue. Violet is made by combining red and blue. Tertiary colors are secondary colors that have more of one of the primary colors like red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, or red violet. Colors across from each other on the color wheel are considered complementary. Complementary colors create high contrast. Colors also have a temperature. Reds, orange, and yellows are considered warm colors, and greens, blues, and violets are cool colors. Today we are going to use acrylic paint thinned with some water to paint our batik. We have warm colors of red, yellow, and orange on one side, and cool colors of blue, green, and violet on the other side. When you want to draw attention to part of your art, using colors further away from each other on the color wheel will create contrast. If you want something to be less prominent, use colors close to each other on the color wheel. Keep your color choice in mind as you paint your batik. We will spray your batik with water first to make the paint go on easier. Once it has been sprayed, lightly rub across the batik. If you are painting a large area, choose the larger brush. Dip the tip of the brush into the paint. The paint is liquidous, so make sure it will not trip before moving the brush over your work. This paint is meant to dye the fabric, so wherever the paint lands, it will stay. For this reason, be extra careful as you do not want to get the paint on your clothes. Carefully paint your batik. When you want to change colors on your paint brush, rinse your brush well, rubbing your brush lightly on the bottom of the container to loosen the paint from the brush. Do not tap your brush on the side of the container as it might spray on your clothes or your neighbor's art. Then brush both sides of your brush on the paper towel before using the next color. Remember as you paint to keep your arm away from your wet batik. Also, do not move your batik on the mat or it might transfer wet paint to unwanted areas of your work. Use your wipe if you happen to get paint on your hands. When you are finished, we'll place it on the drying rack. Once it is dry, it will be washed to remove the glue to finish your batik.